As Russia's invasion of Ukraine nears its one-year mark, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken alleged that Chinese firms were already providing non-lethal support to Russia and claimed that the new information suggested that Beijing could provide lethal support as well. Blinken made these remarks on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference that ran from 17th February to 19th February, where heads of state, generals, intelligence chiefs and top diplomats from around the world spoke about the matter and the future of the world amid this crisis. Painting a terrifying picture, Anthony Blinken warned that such an escalation would mean serious consequences for China. Mr. Blinken was speaking to CBS News after he met China's top diplomat Wang Yi on Saturday at the Munich Security Conference. He, however, did not elaborate on what information the US had received about China's potential plans. He expressed deep concerns about the possibility that China will provide lethal material support to Russia. He said, and I quote, To date, we have seen Chinese companies provide non-lethal support to Russia for use in Ukraine. The concern that we have now is based on information we have that they are considering providing lethal support. The top US diplomat's remarks comes ahead of a scheduled visit by Mr. Wang to Moscow as part of the Chinese foreign policy chief's tour of Europe. Mr. Wang said in Munich on Saturday that China had neither stood by idly nor thrown fuel on the fire for the Ukraine war, as per Reuters' report. For the unworse, China hasn't outrightly condemned Russia for the ongoing war raging in Ukraine. Beijing's formal stance on the conflict has been that all countries deserve respect for their sovereignty and territorial integrity and that support should be given to all efforts that are conducive to peacefully resolving the crisis. Relations between Washington and Beijing were already poor after the US shot down an alleged Chinese spy balloon in early February. Both the sides exchanged angry words, but equally both the sides appeared embarrassed by the incident and seemed ready to move on. Today, Joe Biden visited the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, defying threats of Russian missile attacks, to announce a new package of additional US weapon supplies worth $500 million as Ukraine prepares to mark the somber anniversary of last year's full-scale Russian invasion.